Hey guys, I'm Danny, your friendly neighborhood colorist, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this split tone look without using any qualifiers at all. So I achieved this look by a very macro sense, so I'm not using any secondary tools like qualifiers or color warpers that target a very specific tone. This is a very general kind of look so that you can safely apply it to your films or your commercial and you don't have to go clip by clip to tweak each of them to qualify perfectly the skin tone only. And this is a technique that I've been searching for quite a while now because the only solution on YouTube is to qualify the skin, invert it and then push more blues into wherever that is not the skin. And if you have done that a few times, especially on 8-bit footage, you know that qualifying the skin tone is a lot of work and you have to cater to each individual clip. So let me show you a better way to achieve this look. As usual, I have my clip already loaded up and this is the finished grade. So I'm not going to go through the whole grade today because I don't want to start from the beginning. I just want to focus on how to build this look. But I will go through my usual process of showing you my color management. I'm not in a color manage, I'm just in DaVinci White RGB. Timeline color space DaVinci White Gamut and output color space Rack 709. I'm going to turn off all the notes and we're going to go through the process one by one but I'm not going to do it live right now. So I'm going to press Alt D to turn everything off. I always start off with a CST. So what it's doing is turning Red Lock 3G10 into Rack 709 Gamma 2.4. And if I turn it on, you see that it's very warm. So this was what I saw when I first graded the footage and the reference that the director gave me was actually Ozark. And if you've seen Ozark, it's totally a different color palette. It's very, very blue. So I had to figure out a way to inject the blue while protecting the skin tones. So after my CST, I did a bit of the highlight preservation with my usual technique of going into the qualifiers, only turning on the luminance channel and low 65, low soft 20 and turning down my highlights to negative 50 and after that I did actually go into my primaries so I used the primaries as a correction which I will turn it on later so I'm going to go straight into the look where I push a lot of blue in the leaf gamma and also the gain as you can see here and then I went into my long wheels and I push a little bit of warm into the shadows to remove some blue where the blacks should be because I don't really like it when my blacks are not black but I didn't really touch the mid-tone I only push the highlights to more blue so you can see that his skin tone is totally wrecked at this point and what I did to rescue the skin tone was using parallel notes so that was one of the key things about this look you have to use parallel notes to recover the skin tone so what you have to do is go into hue versus saturation and push up the orange and also a little bit of the red. So what I found is that by doing this, you can rescue some of the skin tones which are sitting in the orange range. And I found that if you increase the orange from 1 to 1.16, then you can increase the red to half of that, which is 1.08. So if I turn this on and off, you can see that his skin is coming back. So this is the magic of parallel notes. If I remove all the orange in the top note, I can add them back in in the second note because parallel notes act in kind of a addition and subtraction. So that's how I use this technical knowledge to create this split toning look in a very macro way. And after that, it's just normal grading where I add a bit of vignette. And this focus note is actually empty. And then I dim everything back down with the curves where I use the editable splines to make a very cinematic smooth contrast and then I went back into the primary to lift up the gain and also a bit of the gamma and finally I finish it off with a Kodak 2383 film print which I have set to 0.5% so inside here so right here I'm going from a Rex and Online Gamma 2.4 into a Cineon film log and I'm using the stock Da Vinci film LUT at D55. So let me turn this off and go back out. So this is the finished look. And I have two other clips over here, which are using the same technique of pushing back in the skin tone 
by using the hue versus and you can push more skin tone in if you want let's say i go back into the hue versus saturation and i push my orange high up you can see that the split toning is working even more there's even more orange but it looks a bit unnatural right now so i'm gonna just push it back down to somewhere let's say 24 and then i'll set my red at 1.12 which is half of 24 so that looks pretty good or so if i turn it off and on you can see that yes it's looking very natural and you achieve this kind of uh, teal look teal and orange if you will and i'm pretty happy with the results from using this technique so i really hated qualifying the skin tone and doing all that work so you can try out this technique and let me know how it works so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.